You know how many bullying-related suicides there have to be? It's got to be less than people that have vending machines fall on them. Like the shark thing? Yeah, like the shark thing. Yeah, shark attacks, shark attacks, and more people are killed by look, vending machines falling on top of them every look, year. For the, for the families that have to deal with a kid that killed themselves, it's brutal and all that, obviously, of but it's not an epidemic. It's, it's not it, even close to an epidemic. It's so low on the list of what celebrities should be uh, uh, hawking. I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's a terrible day, and I'm not talking about any specific instance. I'm just talking about overall the, the problem of this type of bullying slash suicide. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I, sorry, I'm not seeing it as a, a, a grave issue here. There are 8,000 things that I would put in front of that. Yes. Shouldn't kids just be taught to have higher self-esteem, and that way the bullying doesn't Shut bother them? Shut the fuck okay. up. You're right, you're right. It just... <laughs> It builds character. Hi, Patrice. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's digging it. I like Patrice just walking in. Good morning. You got the sleepy eyes. Oh, but I might. Yeah, I, <laughs> I had like a few minutes of, of REM sleep. Yeah, that's, that's all you need. That's all you need. I was like, all right, I feel like all right. Yeah. charge it up. Here, let's listen to Madonna talk about bullying. <laughs> <laughs> With that's, what, that's what I walked voice. in. Voice. Yeah, a month, a month. I believe this is quite the... What's that fucking voice? A month after all the other celebrities did it. This is all about just getting her face out there because, you know. Lady Gaga's People are starting to forget about Madonna. Taking reported her. lately um, because of bullying. I mean, suicide in general is disturbing. Teenagers committing suicide is extremely disturbing. But to hear that children, teenagers are taking their lives because they're being bullied in schools and dormitories what have you, is, is um, kind of unfathomable. And unfathomable. I know a number of people have already spoken out about it, but I feel like I need to say something. Um, Sing the material, girl! Been incredibly supportive of too. me. I wouldn't have a career if it weren't for the gay community. So, I, I, you know, and I have... Yeah, the gays love the Madonna. She's trying no. to steal that from Gaga, love too. Love her! No, Lady Gaga stole all the gays yeah, away Madonna from Madonna. Never, no, man, Madonna never really admitted that the gays like her. I mean, Gaga really But Gaga didn't. took all the new gays. Yeah, but ever Madonna's since... probably still got the, the old stretched-out balls gay yeah. guys now. Yeah. Oh, man, she is so jealous of Lady Gaga. Oh, this is she is, ever. This is all about Lady Gaga. It has nothing to do with gays and bullying and, and teen suicide. Gaga ought to come out with uh, cone... Bra tits. <laughs> yeah, and everybody would call her a genius. Meat. Made yeah. of meat. Meat uh, cone meat tits. Cones. Yeah, how is Madonna dressed? She was dressed uh, uh, conservatively. Yeah, that's her new thing, huh? Yes, yes. <laughs> and I also, uh, I also have a teenage daughter, and yeah. I have ongoing discussions with her about oh, this, this topic. Why? You're... Bullying or lesbo sex? <laughs> <laughs> Which one? I don't, I don't Which think... one? <laughs> I don't think they brought up Lesbo. No. It's <laughs> <laughs> Lesbo. Why? I love the word Lesbo. They're talking about... Why, 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 why would she have this discussion with her daughter? Her daughter's set up for life. She has no problems. Her daughter's just a regular teen. Oh, is Could she Could be bullied really? on the internet. Could be bullied. Facebook. Uh, really? Yeah, you never know. About her eyebrows. They really? They could bully her about her eyebrows. Hey, big eyebrow girl. And then she like she beats them up with with stacks of thousands, <laughs> yeah. just throwing them, at, wads just of dollars, throwing money, st- at, stacks of old Madonna CDs. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're, they're those those that are gathering a lot of dust because even Madonna's daughter is listening to Lady Gaga. Oh, <laughs> oh, that, oh how bad you is imagine? That? Does that happen? You think Madonna goes oh, upstairs yeah. to her room and she quickly shuts off? It's like, what were you playing? What was that? What was that? Lourdes. And then she hits the button, <laughs> practicing her. Madonna's practicing her non-regional dialect. Yes, <laughs> her non-regional <laughs> dialect. So everyone likes her. Exactly. It's unfathomable. <laughs> unfathomable. Is it unfathomable. unfathomable? All right, let's listen to Madonna <laughs> talk about bullying. This is yes. could be the best audio of the day. I have nice. ongoing discussions with her about this. This topic. Mm. So I feel like um, I, I just need to say a few words. Yeah. It's important. Otherwise, the bullying continues. The bullying thing is the fucking, uh, the cause du jour. This is going to peter out faster than any other cause ever. Oh, yeah. Because you'll always have some type of bullying. Yeah. Why are kids now special? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What the fuck? When did that happen? Why are we... (laughs) Why are we raising these bums? 
It's like in school there Isn't, was an, a, a, a you, you call the kid a retard or an idiot that's or offensive. something, and now it's you know ADD. He's got some kind of problem. Uh, bullying was what happened. Uh, you come right. home crying. What happened? Uh, the kid fucking pushed me down in the yard, and then the father would go, "Well, you know what you do? You walk up to him, you punch him in the face." You punch him in the face and he'll stop. Right. But and and and, and when we were growing up, there were you didn't know gays in school. Sometimes so you why? punch a bully and go away. So sometimes he doesn't go away. So why weren't those kids killing themselves? Yeah. Because the gays we wasn't they, supposed to kill us though. But the gays, yeah. the gays accepted now way more than when we were growing up. Was a motherfucker a, that scared me so much from from summer school when I was yeah. in the fifth grade? I go to summer school. Or the sixth grade, I I think I dug a tunnel like Vietnam <laughs> <laughs> to get from school <laughs> to home. I, was the fucking, scary I came motherfucker, out this fucking yeah. sewer to yeah. fucking escape this asshole. St- Steve Oswald from Toronto writes, uh, they better start lezzing out. Yeah, lezzing <laughs> out. Because he's bored that with the, uh, the interview on Ellen DeGeneres. There was I... a kid in my school who used to call me over to pretend to tell me a secret and stick thumbtacks in my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That explains that. everything. That oh. explains everything. There was this kid. It's too I bad just... you didn't kill yourself. Why? Oh, what? I never even considered it. There was a kid Seriously. in school, and I only knew his last name was Bohannon. And we used to make him look. <laughs> Bohannon, that Bo- sounds. Hey, Bohannon. Oh, oh, we just call him Bohannon. And we used to make him uh, low crawl through mud puddles. In the, in the, <laughs> Why would you say his name? He's probably ah, fuck crying. Him. He's probably putting fucking uh, that black ink under his eye right now. <laughs> he probably invented Twitter. You know he, how those uh, guys turn and, out. And he'd be low crawling, and, and we'd just be laughing, and he's full of mud. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> just bullying. Because, because shit goes down, and I got oh, shit on. And, it, and, and you'd have to... This was the lowest common denominator. When I was in I, fifth, Ted, yeah, no, go ahead, I'll go ahead, around. Sam. When I was in fifth grade, there was a new Spanish kid who didn't speak any English. That's good. So the they whole class cool to him. at lunchtime spent the entire lunch period every day asking him <clears throat> embarrassing questions and getting him to say yes or no at the wrong times. Like, do you poop? <laughs> no. <laughs> He doesn't. Until, you want uh, a bully, Sam? Uh, yeah. Oh, you could say it. <laughs> oh, what you kind of totally poor, say it. awful Until, kid was a fucking bum enough, <laughs> weak enough to let Sam bully him? <laughs> right. Until and, seventh yeah. grade came, when I guess we stopped talking to him, but he learned how to speak English. And I was walking out one day way after school with one of my friends, and uh, he went up to my friend, who was also in my fifth grade class, and grabbed him by the neck and started strangling him, yelling, I can speak English now. Holy I was, shit. I was out the door. Yeah, was you gone. 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 <laughs> Can't believe that guy anymore. You now I figured all that shit out. I remember Pat, uh, another one was Patrick Fullen. I'm talking about Patrick Fullen. Uh, yeah, we know the, we know Patrick. <laughs> Patrick Fullen was a, a kid in school, and he was uh, like a big, fat kid. And oh, it, it, was, it was in elementary school, so he just got beat on all the time. And we realized he made a really funny face when you punched him in the stomach. <laughs> so he'd be up against the wall, like pinned against the wall, all scared, and everyone would just punch him in the stomach. And he, he'd make this face like, oh, like he was dry heaving or choking on something. And we'd all laugh, and then the next guy would punch him in the stomach, that's so in his fat up. stomach. That's why this bullying... It's just the way it is. It's, that's, that, it's, yeah. that's the way it is, and that's, it, the, way that's it is. the way it'll always be. But I, I, think, I think the difference is that uh, you know we're raising a generation of fucking wimps. Yeah. I, so they I, can, can I beg they your pardon for just a second? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, certainly. Not to turn this racial. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How is black, this time? Black kids ain't killing themselves over that shit. Right. This See? Is a, this is an epidemic Black because kids white kids can't, can't, can't fucking survive. Over nothing. Over nothing, That's yes. That's right. <laughs> because we're, if we step on, uh, <laughs> I got brand new sneakers on today. If yes. you step on them, I'm going to stab you. You looked at me with we disrespect. Got, <laughs> we got no time. <laughs> we got no time for fucking mur- killing ourselves. And bullying in the black community is just called robbery. It's just, <laughs> yeah. it's just you're robbing someone. I, there's financial gain to it. I go to World Star Hip Hop every day. There's a video every day of a fucking of a the entire project fighting over <laughs> something ridiculous. Oh, <laughs> bitch! You you stole my weave appointment <laughs> and his, t- his titties flying. Yeah, this is, it's it's a beatdown <laughs> happening every day in the projects, man. Because uh, my weave appointment. <laughs> I would assume. Would be so I would assume in the black community they're not raising wimps like they are in the white community. They are raising wimps. It's there just there are wimpy kids out there that can't handle this shit. There are that's some why, fucking that's wimps. That's why yeah. maybe the suicide mm. rate is up. It, Stop but it's, giving everyone a fucking trophy. Yeah. It's time to stop fucking this. When I grew up, it's either you win 
or you're either first place or last. Or last. There's right. no second. You no, just lost. No, right. You <laughs> just didn't want to be last. You didn't want to be last, but you, you, that was it. Remember? But now it doesn't matter if you're. It don't matter if you're last, Patrice. Bullying. Everyone gets a trophy. My mother would point and laugh at me sometimes. Just point and laugh. Yeah. This yeah. is you're hilariously you're, awful. Look, you're bad at that. You're not fucking good. There, there are more things you're gonna suck at than be good at. That's for sure. I had a teacher that gave me an F minus. <laughs> How do you get an F minus? Because he said he, I might as well. Like. What's the difference? He really wanted to make it hurt. And my mother goes, "You got an F minus." Like <laughs> he made my life harder. Yeah. I go, "Mom's like," and no one believed. Nowadays, I wish I lived in the times where teachers were accountable for doing oh, fucked up man. things to <laughs> students. Yeah, the kid would be fired. Uh, the teacher would be fired. I had a second grade teacher that beat us with the pointing stick. Like it was me and yeah. this kid named Wesley. She would bring us into the closet, and the other kids would listen. To us, just get whacked. Holy shit! Whacked. You could not possibly you get be, away. They with beat that. the kids back then. Yeah, they beat yeah. kids back then. Yeah, and the, the teachers, teachers are, with impunity. They no could just, suing. No. No uproar. Just beatings. And the parents usually were like, "Well, what were you doing? <laughs> yeah. What were Robbed you doing wrong? during recess? It was brutal. I yeah. Think, yeah. And I think people bully a lot too because they know, mm. you know, the kid's not going to hit back. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> If you hit a kid back, he's gonna stop fucking bullying. There was this now you gonna teach your son um, pugilism? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna uh, get my kid in uh, self defense classes immediately. MMA at fucking four, yeah. just choking yeah. out other four year olds. <laughs> Whatever, man. The four year olds are tapping. I wish I knew that shit in, in school, just to have it on my side. Fuck but you yeah. didn't get bullied because you had big family, right? It was the fucking Hughes's. They'll uh, fuck you up. Nah, yeah, the whole I, Hughes I got, clan. I certainly got bullied. I was a small kid. Yeah, I got bullied. I, and your whatever. brother looked like a fucking, like, he bit people when he fucking, yeah, he didn't Joe, look like he was a sucker. Joe, Joe didn't really get fucked with. No, you um, just. I didn't get fucked with that much, except, uh, I remember this one black kid, Keith Green. <laughs> of course Green, it was black. Yeah, <laughs> would, would come up and, uh, and, and he, he knew I was a mark. So he would just like, be like, hey, yo, give me 50 cent. Give me 50, 50 cent. And I'd have to, you know, take a couple of quarters out and pay this motherfucker <laughs> off. And and you know what? He never laid a hand on me. I didn't learn that if I didn't give him money, he'd beat me up. I just get right from the start started paying him. Wow, well, I knew there's, better. There's nothing funnier than <laughs> trying out different theories of <laughs> of standing up to a bully and yeah, he can yeah. fight really well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna stand up to your fucking yeah. assault on my blah blah. No, Keith Green, you're not getting did, fifty cent. Did you have the kids in school that would tell you they Ow. knew karate? And they were going to beat the shit out of you? Oh, yeah, Asian kids were... I, were I, I'm embarrassed to say this, but I was at a... I'm very scared of Asian kids uh, fighting. I, I, was, they, I, assume I, yeah, they all know. I, I was at a roller rink. Uh, remember that stupid roller rink on 25A? <laughs> no, Keith Green, you're not getting did, 50 cent. Did you have the kids in school that would tell you they knew Ow. karate? And they were going to beat the shit out of you? Oh yeah, Asian kids were. I, were I, I'm embarrassed to say this, but I was at a I'm very scared of Asian kids uh, fighting. I, I was. They, I assume I, yeah, they all know. I, I was at a roller rink. Uh, remember that stupid roller rink on 25A, <laughs> heading into Northport. Sure. I was there, and I and I, I I did something wrong with this one kid, and he basically told me, "Look, I know karate, and when this is over, on roller skates, you know karate, he goes, dummy." <laughs> no, but then he goes, "When this is over, <laughs> I'm I'm gonna beat the shit out of you outside." <laughs> you were quaking in your drawers. Yeah, shaking, because you know I, we didn't have phones or nothing, so I just gotta wait for my mom to fucking show up to pick me up. I was just a little fucker. As soon as this <laughs> all skate is done, dude, I'm I was, gonna <laughs> kick your ass. Yeah, I was out of my mind because it was couples gonna, only. Yeah, yeah. you're getting your ass fucking handed to you after green grass and high top. Is over. We're going at it. <laughs> That's yeah, you're so thing. lucky Queers it's couples only, motherfucker. And because I'd kick your ass if I wasn't going to be with my girl. I was holding of, hands and I, skating. I was out of my mind with fear. He said it's going down after this whole thing's over. Oh. And then we go outside. There's no great end to the story. His mom showed up and he jumped in the car and said, "You're lucky." He scared you. He scared the shit out of me yeah. by just saying he knew karate. I'm like, I don't know how to your little roller skates. <laughs> I can maybe wrestle the fucking kid. I don't know karate. You ever had a, I ain't gonna take this shit no more moment? <laughs> yeah. You just there, said fuck it? There were, there were these kids that used to get into this fucking karate kid like karate stance. Right. In, in the uh, playground, if there would be a fight, the kid would get into that stance and win the fucking fight. Like the other kid that would was walk it. away. Yeah, that was all like, you had to do. All right, we'll fuck you. That's fuck what I'm you, getting at. That's all you had to say. Was like, all you, you had to do was, was like move your feet fast, put one hand up in front of you, and do this shit. Right. And, and ah! You just but, scared but everybody. But self-defense now, or at least uh, certain 
places. That's yeah. just that's just the fighting is something you you pay to watch. Nah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Athletes do. No, they if use a the Indiana <laughs> Jones solution with the guy with the big machete. Yep, yeah, exactly. That's Some exactly. fucking guy stands and he's like, "I really yeah. did you learn how to fight for no <laughs> oh, yeah. reason, motherfucker? That's how about good. punch this bullet?" Let me <laughs> let me say hi to Mike in New York real fast. Mike. Hey. Hey. Um, morning, guys. Morning. I took Anthony. You hit it right on the head. Uh, I told my seven-year-old daughter because she would come home and say, oh, so-and-so pushed me down today. And this happened like three or four times. I finally told her at the dinner table in front of my wife, I said, you know what you do? You take this kid and you make sure everybody's watching and you punch him dead in the fucking face. Ah. I said, nobody will mess you with you again. Okay? Because I did that in, in uh, like middle school. Um, which it's funny you bring up a uh, roller skating rink. <laughs> <laughs> because it all started at a roller skating rink. I was hitting on this guy's girlfriend. Yeah, it shows and, my uh, age, obviously, but fuck. Well, that's where you socialized. But he got pissed off, and he, he told me, oh, wait till Monday. <laughs> Monday rolls around, we go outside, and he's pushing me around. But I didn't like the fight. He's pushing me around and all that, and finally the fucking switch went on, and I fucking... Shut up, motherfucker. Give me your money. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Give me your fucking yeah, money. But I'm Shut the you. fuck up and send your wallet in the mail, nigga. <laughs> but I'm telling you, he told his daughter to punch this person in the face, and, and she wasn't bullied anymore, right? <laughs> my, my, but there's a culture in schools right now that you're not allowed to fucking touch another student, and that's why this bullying is happening. Oh, oh but you're allowed to bully, though. That, that's I know. Right. So fucking punch yeah. the kid in the face. You're not hearing my kid will be a punch a, a kid in the in the, in the face, face type of kid. kid. Yes. My, my, you're you sure even in, in, uh, during like, the ex, expulsion, like you know, you punch him in a fucking mouth will get you in another school or whatever. Yeah, school, yeah, at my, whatever. Fuck it, at my, whatever. I'm not. I, I really don't want to raise a wimpy kid. I see it I happening all daughter. over the fucking place, and I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna. I don't know how I'm going to get past it, but I don't want to raise a wimpy kid, man. But are you te are, are people teaching their kids to bully? I, well, like, I, are people saying, go there and just terrorize other children? I think the bullying <laughs> yeah, is happening. If you want to have a serious... I think the bullying is happening because these bullies know nothing could happen but to them But it's always happened. Return. It's always fucking happened. Yeah, happen. but that's... You're but, not going to change the psychology of a fucking human uh, ch child. Right. It, it, there's, there's many dynamics to a, a kid. W one can be a fucking wimpy pussy. The other kid's going to go to school and for <clears> no reason whatsoever start bullying around other kids. It's part of fucking what what they do. But if you but know, but people, if you know, there's no consequences. It's easier to bully a kid if you know that kid's not gonna fucking you know hit you back. But there always was that consequence back in the day. That's or what I'm saying. They got what, hit or they didn't get hit. You just took care of it yeah. uh, among uh, so how among does it yourselves? become a movement where it gets stuck? Like what happens where it's a couple like, of people kill themselves and all of a sudden it becomes this thing like oh they were bullied. First of all, the the, the gay kid that jumped off the bridge it wasn't even a bullying incident. It was not a bullying incident. He just wasn't it ready was to come prank. out the closet. Yeah, yeah. It was a prank that went horribly, that went wrong. horribly uh, wrong. We pulled pranks like, oh, like crazy pranks like that all the time. That they one have, unfortunately went horribly wrong. It yeah. sucks. They factored in psychological torment into the bullying thing. Oh, so, is that bullying now? Psycho? Is yeah. it fucking I felt mind so bad for that fucking kid. Yeah. But look at man, I, I shook a douchebag's hand yesterday at the fucking at the Best Buy. He tweets. He just tweets. Hey, Patrice said Best Buy buying. I just like I go. What, what if I just lied to my girl uh, <laughs> about oh, where? I, what, like, what? You just you oh you you. you I got a divorce. <laughs> like, what the fuck you doing? Like, I think it's just we don't have any. It's no common sense. Right. And right, right. there's no code. There's something. This is bitch's fault. It's something. <laughs> there's no code to dudes for something. Like we would, we do that. Do we're we're like just that. yappy, yeah, yeah. kind of stop it, kind of no, no one's scared no of getting code. punched in the fucking face. Like yeah. a guy like uh, uh, like uh, Randy Couture, he, he has to live his life just as a professional. He has to fight other guys who go, look, this is what I do for a living. You do this, let's fight. But there's no consequence of getting your fucking head your ass bashed to in you for ratting for somebody being a out fucking or, asshole. Or, or, we are telling everybody where you are. The fuck is that about? But that's what I'm saying. There's no. Yeah. It's like no one taught this dude to just be cool. Yeah. Like motherfuckers is uncool. But it's a. It's a. It's the co It's it's opening your mouth mm. with no consequence. There's the, me, yeah. me, the internet saying, hey. Hey, fuck you, douchebag, fucker. Oh, you could be and the baddest. And you block them, yeah. but that's blocking is like should have been punching you in the mouth back then. Yes, that's blocking somebody's 
uh, text that came out of their mouth. <laughs> like, and it's just so arbitrary. Yeah. So it's like, you know, you get a lot of fucking tough guys who, who aren't men of the streets. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, women don't deal with violence on a regular anyway. That's why they always yapping. But dudes <laughs> should at least have the threat of fucking of getting, getting your thrown fucking, through something. Yeah, your, your face up. punched. All right, listen, here's uh, part two of Madonna talking oh. about bullying on Ellen DeGeneres. More. And like I said, this is all about Lady Gaga being really, really famous now. And Madonna needed some exposure. Were you bullied as a kid, or did you feel uh, different than other people when you were younger? Um, yes, that would, that's an understatement. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I, I still feel different. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I can totally re relate to the idea of feeling isolated and alienated. I bet you she doesn't even what? have an example of uh, bullying she when she was, was growing up. She has no Shut fucking up. bullying she stories. She was different. She didn't fit in. She wasn't different. She was just like every other fucking. She was special. But didn't you like? Ugh. Didn't you like being the different <clears throat> one in school? I didn't want to be like everyone else. No, you didn't. No, nah, yeah, nah. nah. let's let's be honest. You don't want to be. Yeah, 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 you, you don't want to be different to the point where you're getting fucking made fun of. That's for sure. You were, you if I you was if you was if you had a had a, a, a sense of individual, th th you you I lost like that. Though. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. why I flunked throughout school. I was just trying to be cool. No, you had to be with a cr with some kind of crowd. You had to yeah. be with some. It's like prison. You got to be yeah. with a gang. That's why peer pressure. Peer pressure is more peer pressure. Worse it's more bullying. of an issue than bullying. Worse than bullying. Mm -hmm. It's just being a whack fucker who doesn't. It's not your who doesn't follow enemies. your own fucking it's path. Your friends. Right. It's you're not your enemies. It's your friends telling you to do something man. that'll fuck you up more than a bully will. Yeah, man, make funny and you know. Yeah. And alienated. I was incredibly um, lonely as a as a child, as a teenager, and I have to say, I never felt like I fit in at school. I, I wasn't a jock. I wasn't an intellectual. There was no group that I felt a part of. I just felt like a weirdo. And it wasn't until my ballet teacher, who who was also... Yeah. Uh, oh, she's going to ballet class. We're supposed to feel sorry for young Madonna. Madonna. This is what led her Stop to it. become the person she is today. She's pretty much a billionaire because uh, cause, uh, she was different than everybody in else. In the locker room, I had my big <clears throat> hairy bush uh, that was made fun of because it looked like a sweater. And no one would les out with me. Yes. <laughs> but Very that was fucking what was supposed to be happening yes, in school. Yes. That's what happened. There was natural Hollywood mm -hmm. and natural fucking uh, audience. Mm -hmm. There was there was the jocks. Yeah. There was drug dealers. There was fucking M Mick Peterson, the tough guy who yeah. wore a leather jacket and no one fuck with. There were band fags it, and it, drama fags. It was and, no, and but I'm saying those. I'm naming the, the a crowd of yeah, people yeah. who the rest of the fucking school watched be Hollywood. They were the celebrities. And it was like TMZ. And you and the, <laughs> and the Madonnas of the world would have to sit back and and fucking watch those people be Hollywood. But no comments. They yeah, just have yeah. to sit there and be fucking the B and the C and the D crowd and <laughs> shut the fuck up. Why they watched the football guys get attention. The pretty girls got attention. Funny guys got attention. And fucking everyone yeah, yeah. else got nothing they were the audience and mm. that was what it was supposed to fucking be mm. so the lady gaga's who want all the other kids to be protected they're going against the fucking code of how they got big they yeah. used to watch how of there's course. some girl that madonna used to watch and go i want to be like fucking cindy mcgillicuddy that's why <laughs> that's why she got big shoulders and she's in shape and she yeah, sings yeah. songs she's copying some chick who was a star yeah she just made the move and Back cindy then. didn't cindy's a fat cunt now <laughs> and madonna's because cindy was the shit yeah it is what yeah, it is yeah. Yeah. not every fucking child should be have an opportunity it, it, it's it's fucked up that that school is supposed to be more more so than teaching you the basics of uh, reading, writing, and arithmetic. It is supposed to be this thing that teaches you how to fit into uh, to a society, survive. Yeah, to survive. Not even fit in, survive. Yeah. Well, well, that's just it. it, it, it there's going to be people during life in the working world that are bullies. Maybe they don't fucking come up and punch you in the face every day. But they fuck with you on a business level. You're either a zombie day. or the guy sleeping <laughs> in the tank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the rest of the clip. My ballet show. teacher, who, yeah. who was also gay, took me under his wing. Was he? And wow. 
introduced me to a community of artists, of other unique individuals who told me that it was good and okay. The, the X whores. <laughs> he introduced her to lesbo the parties. X whores. <laughs> Yeah, they, she took her to the, the special school. Went to the special school ran by... Gay Professor X. Javier fucking... <laughs> this is some after-school oh, shit. She's shit. talking about lesbo parties. Oh. What is she talking about? Magneto is a bully. <laughs> I don't like Magneto. Mag panties. He has the power <laughs> <laughs> to make my clit show through my drawers. <laughs> of other unique individuals who told me that it was good and okay to be different, who um, brought me to my first gay disco and ironically made me feel like I, I was a part of the world and that oh. it was okay yeah. to be different. And sense. I can't imagine young kids today going through their adolescent years not having somebody that they can talk to, Take them to somebody a that disco. they can have an affinity <laughs> with that tells them and arrested. reassures them that it's <laughs> yeah, okay yeah. to be who yeah. they are. How great is that? That's that's kind of my point. Now, yeah, if you yeah. have a teacher that realizes, wow, there's some gay kids and stuff, i got to take them to a gay disco. Let me disco. take them to a gay oh disco. Oh, my God, would be so yeah. fucking in jail. Uproar. Right. That's what I'm getting at, though. She had nothing, by the way. No, she, she had just nothing needed, there. She, she had to talk about it. She had to get on and talk about bullying without... With nary an example no. of any bullying that went on with her, Has she her ever admitted that she's anybody. gay or no, 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 no. That, that sounded like she was admitting she was gay. No, up. she's a friend of the gay community. Yeah, but she was hanging out at gay discos. I mean, she might have gone to a gay. Who hasn't gone to a gay club? Oh, all right. Well, <laughs> hmm. the freedom that gay. Uh, oh, why is she doing that? Just a friend of the community. Right, well, there yeah. you go. Enough about the bullying. The gays have... Uh, Let it be known, yeah, by the way. Nice. A lot of parents on the phones right now saying, yeah, my kid was bullied. I told him to hit the fucking kid. Guess what? <clears throat> my kid's not being bullied anymore. Well, don't they there's think there's... a bunch of them. I don't have... We don't have time <clears throat> for them. Isn't and there the... something to be said about positive reinforcement? No. No. It's stupid. No. It doesn't work. We're, we're, my girl's, we're fucking cavemen. I told my girl's kid, paint her... Because she's not getting bullied, but it's like she, she hangs out with the... She's a, a, a ostracizer because she's really pretty. Oh yeah, and tall, right? Uh -oh. So she hangs out with the pretty and tall girls, yeah. and, they, and they go, they do a merry-go-round of, of who gets ostracized from the pretty crew that day. <laughs> <laughs> so she's just like, "What am I gonna do? I've been told to leave the crew because I'm the only one that doesn't have a fucking boyfriend." I said, "Paint." I said, "You see how you paint your nails? Paint the middle one fucking a different color." And just stick it up right there. Just stick him up when they said he can't hang out. I said, like, fuck you. Who are you? Can't hang out with your but, yeah. but I said, it's your fault, too. See, that's what I'm saying. I'm not giving us some fucking... I'm yeah. saying, you're an asshole, too, because you treat... There's people who really <clears throat> want to be around you and like you, but you treat them like shit because they're funny looking. Yeah. You don't have any ugly friends, so you're one of them, too. You're a dirty, rotten <laughs> piece of garbage <laughs> like them. Gotta get some ugly friends. Yeah, there's some. There's a f little fat girl that desperately wants to play Dolly with you, you there's asshole. There's been so many movies made of that subject. It's like, show one of those movies. <laughs> See, that's your life. You're these cunty girls, and the fat girl there, they, you do the makeover on later and invite her in. Oh, you've seen Mean Girls, have you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, so, <laughs> Every hey, one of them. How about... <laughs> pretty in pink. <laughs> yeah. How about the good-looking guy that dates Miss Fat Face <laughs> and then really falls in love with then? Really? Yeah, yeah. How about do the reality of that? Go, ah, uh -huh, Never happened. <laughs> he fucks her, dumps her, and she kills herself. <laughs> she jumps in front of the train <laughs> at fucking Linden Station uh, at the fucking Jersey train. <laughs> that was that not believable fucking Queen Latifah movie where she falls in love with the basketball player. Oh, and they're what in love. the fuck? <laughs> that was never that? fucking happen. Common. What was it called? I didn't see the movie, but I saw the trailer. I felt oh, like I saw the bullshit. movie. Bullshit. Because they give away oh, the whole movie. Oh, man. Now. What the fuck? It was in and out of theaters, but all of a sudden she's an agent or something, and she's. Uh, the basketball player gets hurt, I think, and she helps him get common. better. It's common. Yeah. Common would never go out with Latifah. That's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm a Latifah fucking not. supporter. But he would <laughs> never go, because that's not guys. No, that's Common not would guys. never. He goes out with fucking no. um, supermodels. Se what, not Ser little Serena. Waist. He'll fuck with Serena, but she, cause she Serena got the... Serena Williams? Yeah, he fucks with her sometimes. But she got that's the greatest ass on planet. What? 
<laughs> what did you just say? That's Serena work. Williams? Come on, Jeez. man. Stop. Don't even just say nothing with that I, kind I, of pride. I, 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 Serena <laughs> Williams. I'm not trying to be shocking. Her, her grill is, is, Serena um, Williams is dodgy. <laughs> She's dodgy. But she is she way has too the intimidating. body. Uh, exactly. You fucking. No, no man. You fucking Serena white Williams. boy. You're scared to death of that Amazon. Oh, my God. Of course you are. You probably I, wouldn't fuck Sandal Bergman from Conan the Barbarian. <laughs> Latifah. That fucking hot bitch. Latifah, a little, a little easier than uh, what? Serena. What? A little softer? Come on, man. Stop yeah, playing. Look at that. Stop Get playing, man. Here. Did you just flip that to me as if what? I'm going to be shocked? I'm st- Oh, you like that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good, Danny. All right. I was nervous. Like Danny likes oh, that. Good boy, totally man. Good the, fucking yeah. man, Danny. Let into me see Latifah. Maybe What's I'm, the matter with you, man? Maybe, I, maybe I'm making a mistake. I'm making, making, I told you you had black fans on this show. You're losing them by the fucking thousands <laughs> right now. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, all right, all right. God, okay, damn, you know what? Come on. <laughs> Why do y'all you always show fucking moose.com? Why don't you show when she fucking got a girdle on, you pieces of shit? All right. You know what? Every picture that comes up. <laughs> you just, you just uh, shut me down, Patrice. You just shut me down. She looks like <laughs> what's his name, the janitor from Good Times, <laughs> Dude, <laughs> fucking Bookman. Dude, there you go. It's not even close. Oh, Serena yeah. Williams over Latifah. Serena, I, have to I be, mean, her, I, her, I made a mistake. Her grill, <laughs> I made a mistake. Her grill is not the greatest in the world, but that body, man, everybody's k- killing well, their, put their Latifah's, brother. Latifah's uh, face on her body. Then you got fucking you got glory, right? You got glory. Yeah. Uh, 